Everybody, Kuzmos here, back again with Last Dream World Unknown. We are still at the arena, and I'm going to attempt to work my way up the cups. Uh, we already did Tier 1, so let's head on with Tier 2. Now, I'm probably going to cut most of the earlier bits of this stuff out, because it should be pretty easy. Now, one thing of note is I did... Uh, and a whole mess of ability points that I kind of left doing because I didn't know what to do with them. I decided it might be worthwhile well, that's always a bad way to start to put them into crit. And now you might notice I'm getting a lot heftier crits than I was before. Even uh, Sid there's got some crit. So that should drastically increase our damage output. So with that in mind, the first several cups should be really easy. So I'm going to go ahead and just knock those out. And we'll be back when things get a little more challenging. Alright, see you then. Alright, I have just completed the 10th Arena Cup. So we're going to see about doing a little more of the... Well, you see a little more of the back half. Or the back third, I suppose. Uh, they're starting to get to the point where they actually get to do stuff to me. Actually, the last round I had... My feet got paralyzed. Someone else had to attack. Well, no, actually no one else had to attack. I just didn't get to steal. And... So it's going pretty much the same. For the most part, I get a quick slash, do an ultra scan. Mostly just making certain I have the monsters in the bestiary, to be honest. And boom. Alright, so what we're going to do now is... We'll come back on the last fight of each tier. So, see you then. Alright, we're on the final round. Has anything changed drastically? Not yet. So let's see if they can... Get a hit on me. They actually did get some hits last time, so... And uh, that hand managed to escape being hit. So, perhaps, once again, they'll manage to hit me. Maybe they'll even do a status effect on Sid, and... Actually, can he be a status effect? I'm not sure. It's possible he can't. So, let's see what happens. And everything dies. Alright, let's see about getting our reward. What do we get? Don't know. So, let's finish up Tier 11 long to walk out here. We get a clandestine ring and a guardian ring and 200,000 gold. Not bad, not bad. Let's see what those do. Defense, match defense and HP. Interesting. And class clandestine. Agility, preemption and accuracy. I mean, not bad, but probably not what I need. Each one of these monsters would be little to your ordinary citizen, yet you continue to slay them with what seems like ease. Would you like to fight in the tier 12? Yes, I would. Please make your way to the arena. Okay, will this one be any different? Let's find out. I do kind of wish, like, I'd like to see a little change up in these. I think they look slightly intimidating. Got some uh, nice item drops. Add them to the scan in case we haven't seen them. And they don't survive. Alright, see you on the final round. Alright, fifth and final round. Let's see what it's like. It's uh, starting to get where it's notably more difficult. I mean, things are sometimes surviving for a little bit longer. I see. Actually, you can see uh, Jarethur got a decent hit on him. So, I mean, as a whole, if I couldn't heal at some point in time, it might be threatening. And again, here you get to actually see them go before. Jareth's magic defense is still a bit suffering. But, goes down in no time. Let's head back for our reward. Alright, we get 
a warlock ring, I think I have one of those, and a valor ring, and a fair bit of gold. Let's again check those out real quick. Attack 45, crit 30, and HP 75. Huh. Well. That's pretty tempting, isn't it? I could go all out and... Just, uh, go way overboard on the HP. Lose a little bit of attack there. I mean, like, lose 30 attack. But gain 30 crit, basically, and more HP. Is that worthwhile? I don't know. I do think I'll have him... Nah. Find how he is. And, uh... And that doesn't really do you much good, I don't think. Crit by 50, can lose some crit for more attack. Hmm. Again, this is the same setup those Coos has. Well, Pre is not really worth it at all. Alright. Let's see, don't stop now. Find this here 13? Yes, I would. Alright. See in the last bout, or it's getting close to the end, uh, the first tough one. Okay, we're in the first fight, and, uh,. They just dropped Jareth. They're going before me now. And... Poor Jareth, once again. This is on that XP and SP. Bit of a pain. Okay, so... Rather not... That might have just been a fluke. Sometimes you'll just have random oddball battles that are way harder. And... Let's make certain they die. Don't think we need to worry about that. You shall sleeping dart anything that doesn't survive. Fast item. And that's all I want. I need you to come back from the dead, please. Ah, uh, what was that again that does that? Don't I have actually There it is. Should be close enough, plus the heal from Seraliel. Man, yeah, that does sting a bit. They're actually able to get stuff through. Telekinetic Frenzy usually doesn't win that. Does Seraliel not get an attack? Hmm. I wonder if she's just been attacking earlier because I've been using her scan. Alright, so. I need to focus on getting things going well. Do I have anything that hits everybody? No, I don't. Alright, this is actually a little bit dangerous. This is actually very dangerous. Ridiculously dangerous. And everything dies. Of course it does. Yep. This is much more difficult. Just as soon as they can go before me, the difficulty cranked up like mad. Alright, so you again need to use fast item, and we've got some fish to take care of this, I believe. Uh, where are our resurrection fish? Those are lower down, right? All dead allies. We've got plenty of these. Let's let's get everybody nice and full. Perhaps I should look at Wolf. Boosting their HP. That might be worthwhile. Oh yeah. I'm gonna need to buff things up just a bit, aren't I? Alright, you zeal it. Reign of death. Let's try a slash and grab. And if you can apply some healing, I would greatly appreciate that. Uh, let's see. That should be a... Oof. Yeah, I think I should favor 
some magic defense for Jareth there. There we go, that did nicely though. And almost. Well, he's silenced. That's interesting. I think just hitting him should finish him off. Okay. I really dislike having my MP out of whack, though. Or my XP out of whack, rather. Okay, so. Zeal. I feel like this actually might be worthwhile. You slash and grab. I think I have an alternate idea. Yeah, give everybody a little pre. Let's see if that's enough. Give my attacks out. Now I lose the big attack from Sid. But is this enough? To get my attacks in first. I need all of them to come in, though. That's the big thing. Oh, no. Okay, most of them got in, and it didn't finish them off. Uh-oh. Well, that is some important information. To have. Yeah, you can see how much more damage Jareth takes. But I think... This will... Do just fine now. Just trying Berserker, Reign of Death, and we've got Grand Larceny up now. And for good measure, anything I want to use, nah, just that's good. Okay. So I need more pre on Sid. But, do I want him to go before Jairus? I suppose we'll take any they can get, right? Whoa. This might be harder than expected. Even Arthur couldn't complete this one. Or this next one, rather. We get Undefeated Ring, Sorcerer Ring, and money. Arthur Meadows match. Would you like to fight in the... Not right now, thank you. Okay, so... I mean, cutting MP co costs in half is good. What is that? The undefeated, I think? Is that it? I feel like that wasn't it, specifically. Doesn't sound right. Just checking through what all we have. Nothing really calling out to me. I mean, Ascendant sounds awesome, doesn't it? Okay, so... Jolly Pre, that's... probably good. Do you have anything against Pre and Magic Defense? I don't think so. In pre, no. Okay, so... Just deal with your higher preemption, or your higher MP costs. And you shall take the clandestine. And you shall take... I want the higher... There we go. And what can we give you that gives you preemption? And will it be enough? And pre... There's a lot of MP there, but that should be just fine. Okay, that will have to do. What are our stats looking like? Eh, they could be better. Let's get everybody nice and full, though. Even if I'm being a little wasteful about it. Oh, well, that's a bit ridiculous. Go ahead and save. And now head into the next one. The Grizzly Reaper. So, are these modifications enough for me to go first? That is ridiculously important in these battles. 
otherwise, well, I need a little more HP on my damage dealers. So, what do we have? We have, ooh, we could, I could holy heal. Do you think I have more damage than zeal? Let's try it. Just for funsies, right? Just to do the best we can to ensure we do the maximum amount of damage. Let's try this. Okay, you're going first. That's great. That's enough to make a difference. Scan still lands. And ICBM hits and we're good. Okay. So it's amazing. Like, I'm fighting way beyond my weight class. I can deal the damage, but I cannot take it. Uh, ooh. These. I fought these in ladder. The big green-looking guys. They were... Oof. Rough. Rough as can be. Oh, but that's nice. Confusing the... One that acts quick and hurts. All right. We just might have a chance. Now, it's going to be a little tricky when we get to... What is this? The Reaper? Uh, I think it's... Actually, I think we can handle it. Because... I think that's the same thing that's the final boss of the ladder. So... I feel... Reasonably confident we can do it. Now, the werewolf guy, we just don't want to hit it. Period. There we go. Almost 10,000 damage, just shy of it. Two rounds, two more to go. Okay, so. I'm gonna do this one a little bit different. You stick with the zeal. The main difference is going to be... Let's make certain we're not status affected. I think that's how I want to do it. Hopefully we still deal enough damage without the scan. I just want everybody as close to top HP as I can. Okay, do it. Good, come on. Okay. Heading into our final fight of 15 anyways. Grizzly Reaper, yes. Yeah, either the same thing or something incredibly similar. So let's go ahead and do our all battle buffs first. There we go, a little bit of that. Uh, you have null magic, that should do nicely. And possibly give you a chance to survive. I mean, I've got like three rounds of buff on some of these people to go. So, you know. But it is a pretty nice chunk. Ooh, that's always scary. I'm assuming there'd be a death effect if I didn't have stuff going. Alright, so we've done that. This, that's not all battle, that's That's a pretty good bonus. Let's drop that. We've got Vigilance. That looks good. Alright, and now to seriously crank your stats. I want you to have the increased int. I don't think Sid needs reduced mana costs. He has an item that does that for him. But a permanent, well, permanent for the battle. 10% increased int. It's pretty nice. And, ooh, 10k damage. Uh-oh. Alright, well, we can work with that. I think we are ready to start buffing. Yeah, that'll do nicely. Got vigilance has went down.
And let us do Healing Chant. You still got Covert Ops to do. And... Well, why would I want to boost just one person's? I would like... That's what we want. Tetra for everybody. And once Koos gets healed up, he should be pretty effective. Now, is that enough to heal him? I don't know. Well, that's not enough to give him 10k. Well, Koos is going to die. That's... All there is to it. I can't give him enough HP, I don't think. So, let's go ahead and do what he can while he can. And... You do an Ultra Scan. Time to start stealing. You know what? I'm going to... I don't know if this will help. But... Tonic for Koos. Will that be enough? I mean, it, I think he's taking the damage this turn, so probably won't help that much. Okay, so if I can buff him up, he might just survive this. Alright. Got that going. That. Let's hit him with the Ethereal Strike. Agile Strike. And keep burglarizing him. And you'll just need one person to 100%. What do we have? That's not quite enough. Okay, we've got to go fish route. You know what? Might as well. Nah. They should do it for Ambrosia? Nice. Okay, he will survive. And do crazy damage. And he should. When is he taking the. Did he already take 10k? And. Well, that's interesting if that's the case. Hmm. I've seen him be immune to a lot of damage. Is that damage he's immune to? Oh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Scientific Fury. Let's see what kind of damage it does. And death isn't bad. Wow, 40,000. Yeah, that... Well, okay. Show off. I don't know if he even got everything from him. Good lord. Did I do too much buffing? Well, maybe. Great work finishing off Tier 14. Not even Arthur was able to complete Tier 14. He always faltered in the final battle with the Grizzly Reaper. You can now consider yourself the greatest gladiator to ever live. Tier 15 Cup is uncharted territory. The beasts were captured long ago and kept in a tranquil state with special herbs and medicines. Who knows what will happen when they are awakened for your Tier 15 battles. More importantly, what do you have for me? Magnification Ring. Augmentation Ring. Sounds like HP and MP. That'd be my guess. Hey, ooh. That is pretty nice, isn't it? And magic defense. That's a tempting one. Alright, let's buff up nicely with our magic potions. Everybody's good on HP. And let's save. We're heading to the final one. Oh, right. I've got to actually join the battle, don't I? Welcome back. This is it. Only the 15th and final cup remains. It's the event that all of Estonia, no, all of Veer has been waiting for. Would you like to fight in a tier 15 cup? Yes, I would. Hopefully my preemption holds up. Because, well... Everything kind of hinges on that. I get wrecked as soon as anything hits me. 
My two damage dealers just can't stand up to the damage. So, let's see how this goes. Uh oh. Does not look good for us, does it? We've got an ultra scan off. We've got a slash and grab, which missed most of the stuff. And ICVM does not finish them off. Oh. Brother. This is going to be a tight fight, isn't it? Okay, so... I could fast shore. That might do something. Do a little of that. And... We can grand larceny. And... Mass life drain? Okay, so fast shore can kill me full. That's lovely. I should have checked what percentage of their HP these guys were at. Okay, a little regen is nice as well. Alright. Starting to get level ups. That's the first round, though. Oh, is that the first round? Yeah, that's the first round. Oh, hey, this just looks super, super rough. Now, should I focus on something? Would that be the right idea? Telekinetic Frenzy can probably take something down. Sleeping darts? Hmm. That's tempting. Let's drop that. Slash and grab. For now, let's stick to the plan. And hope I can get enough going on. Notice also, Soraliel is going before Chera. It might actually be to my benefit. Okay, please just... Oh, thank you for spreading that around. Okay, so... Just do a fast cure on yourself. Do the healing chant. armed robbery him, and just in case he somehow survives, wreck him. I did not heal you to full. Israel, you gotta... Nope. Alright then. Just what we want to have happen going into some of the toughest fights I've had with less than full HP. So Goose, do me a favor and don't die. Alright, so... Ah, Mass Life Drain. Won't be as much damage. Let's get a little extra damage, then. So... Again, very risky stuff, and... Yep. Down goes Jera. Oh, and thank goodness I managed to actually... Well, okay, the sleep doesn't do very good when I explode you, does it? But at least Goose is back up. And bleeding terribly. Ooh. Okay, then. Telekinetic Frenzy. Fast item. We need some fish. We need to resurrect all with... 50. There you go, they're back up. And Goose should be able to handle the beating. Be a little rough, but okay. Whoa. Can't mass life drain. You can try a holy heal, healing chant. Let's try to make certain Goose gets nicely healed. Just laying it all on him. Okay, you survived. That's actually. Strangely kind of good. I wish that hadn't dealt damage to you. However, I think we got it. Man, Jared, come on, man. Learn to take a hit. 
Three rounds. Okay, number four. I'm I'm betting Jareth is going to die. So I mean Sid is our biggest damage dealer. Brown this. Toss that out. I wanna hit the, that thing. Because I think it is probably the most problematic. And if we can drop it, the sooner the better. Please, something die, something die, anything die. Okay. Killed the one I was worried the most was going to kill me. And... 10k damage in three turns. Well, obviously we have to kill them before three turns passes. So give me a zeal. Give me a hunter's poultice. Slash and grab, and... I guess experimental liquid is not the greatest, but it should be enough. And we're back to our expected order. Maybe there's something I just did temporarily that threw that off. Not entirely sure. Okay. One to go. Let's see how it looks. We're coming into it with full HP. So that's... Oh, you look scary. Um, I don't need any healing. Should I... Just try to get a, maybe things to sleep? And... We think here. Okay, let's try something. Let's... Sure, we've got a fair amount of those. Yeah, that's what I expected. At least some of them hit me first. And as long as somebody dies, Sid should heal up after that whole mess. Yeah, it means I don't get Sid's attack. But I think it actually works. It also means I get to leave them asleep. That may allow it to skip the big, scary-looking guy's turns. Well, not quite. But I think we're in a good position. Drop a Reign of Death. Grand Larceny and an ICBM. And we've got one sleeping enemy. Hey, it's better than nothing, right? So, here we go. Come on, just finish him off. Oh, paralyzed. That's good. And things are still alive. Good lord. Well. That should finish him off. Wait. Dancing dagger is much better. Let's Scientific Fury, the one with the most HP. Ooh, Jareth, buddy, oh boy. Can't see a bloody thing. Right, of course. Now you can. A little late. And... Rodrigo has tons of damage. Alright! Through, uh, sheer stubbornness, we've managed to make it. And a lot of item use. Wow, you've submitted your place in the history of the arena by completing tier number 15. No one will ever forget the name, Kusmos. Congratulations on your victory in the tier 15 cup. Here's your reward. A master ring, and an ancient ring, and a clotting ring, and an element ring. Good lord. Okay, so, let us see what all these things do. Ring protect, protects against all status effects, including zombification, jinx, and disease. Master increases all by 15. That's not bad. And I forgot what the other one were. Was? That was one of these kind of rings. I wonder what the... I don't understand the difference in the rings. There was a clotting ring in there. Um, a lot of stuff. Element ring. I think it's one of the ones we got. We already have one, so... 
protects against all bleeding states. That's pretty nice. Not really what I want to use right now. So, the last thing I want to do is head, I think, all the way upstairs. All the way up. And check out these guys. Welcome to the ring shop. Well, I think that might be the same. What about you? If I can green armor shop, get our extreme rare Aegis armor. What? Oh, wow. That is... All kinds of good. Doesn't have any special effects, so... I'm a little iffy over vulnerable to replace just absolutely everything. But if it doesn't have any special effects, it's definitely getting replaced. Only the weapons. Wow. Wow. What is really all wielding right now? This. Oh, the mercenary's bow actually has better attack. Who'd have thunk it? And take one more to talk to old Arena Master. I'm thoroughly amazed that you've topped the final cup of the arena. Your name now ranks among the greatest of the arena gladiators. Awesome. I kind of expected more, to be honest with you. All right. So, in the next episode, well, between episodes, I'll probably see about tweaking my gear out because I was kind of focused on the pre, and also probably want to make use of that Aegis. And uh, we're also going to take a look at what we have available in the casino, because during some of the off time, I did manage to get the high roller. So, that gives us a high roller section, which allows us to buy some stuff. I spent actually a lot of time in the arena, got a lot of money, so we'll check that out. And then, I think, assuming we can't start the Grey Mage researcher thing... Then I do believe we'll be heading out into the world finally. So, I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and let me know what you think in the comments. But uh, until next time, catch you later.